New information in a police chase in New Jersey that ended in a deadly crash. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And welcome back, I'm Maurice Dubois. Investigators believe the driver in a stolen car slammed into another car carrying a family. A young father was killed. This crash happened earlier this week in Old Bridge. CBS 2's Dave Carlin has more now on how he is being remembered and how the community is stepping up to help. 33-year-old Arturo Tolapa Luna died and his wife, two daughters, and his father are hospitalized. After the vehicle carrying the family was reduced to this twisted wreckage, two suspected thieves were being pursued by police who say the pair were in a speeding stolen car. The suspects struck the innocent family members as they traveled southbound on Route 9 in Old Bridge at Spring Valley Road. They're left without a father now. That is Luna's longtime employer, Antonio Romeo Di Santillo, who owns pizza and pasta factory in Marlboro. We are all heartbroken. The whole family, his, his immediate family and our uh, restaurant family. Uh, he's been with me since he's a teenager. In the aftermath of the early morning fatal crash Wednesday, he set up a GoFundMe page for the family. Him and his family really didn't deserve it. Also, this collection set up on the pizza shop's counter. Just. Terrible, terrible tragedy. The money is needed to help the injured crash survivors who were brought here to Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital in New Brunswick. Uh, he has two girls. One is seven, the youngest seven, and the oldest is about 12. Uh, his father was here visiting from Mexico, so his wife, his two daughters, and his father are still in the hospital. I'm still shocked. The family will return to a close-knit and supportive Freehold Township neighborhood. They are a very nice family. I'm over there a lot. Prosecutors say the driver of the vehicle that caused the crash is 19-year-old Samuel Villar, charged with first-degree aggravated manslaughter. They say he was with an unidentified 17-year-old. The two allegedly attempting to burglarize cars. State law requires the attorney general's office investigate any deaths that occur during an encounter that involves police. You know, they're kind of, if they don't do anything, they're mocked for not doing anything. If they chase, well, this is what happens when you chase. It's just a bad situation. He says maybe laws need to change, but right now, priority number one is taking care of a devastated family. In Old Bridge Township, New Jersey, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.